Brian Codes here, and welcome back to the Hello World tutorial. Just a little recap on what we did in the last video, which I'll link below. We set up a UI view controller with a UI label and a UI button, and when you clicked on the UI button, the label changed to Hello World text, and the background changed to green. We're going to build a little bit on this today. When you're building an application, you're going to want more than just one view controller. You're going to want many view controllers, but you're going to want to know how to navigate down the stack on that and how to get to those view controllers and how to pass data between them. And I'm going to show you that today and it's very simple. So let's start off. We have our UI view controller set up here, the one we set up from the first video. We're going to go to it. We're going to make sure it's selected. We're going to go to editor on the top and we're going to go to embed in a navigation controller. What a navigation controller does is it holds the stack of child view controllers. So you're able to push down and pop up, which I'll show you later on how that works. So you can maintain the stack of view controllers. As you can see, I have a UI view controller that I pulled down from the objects panel. That'll be our second detail view controller. So let's make that associated with a class now. We're gonna right click. We're gonna go new file, a Cocoa touch class. We're going to name it Detail View Controller with a subclass of UI View Controller. And we're going to create it in our project. So now we have a Detail View Controller here on the right. Go back to our storyboard. We will go to this class and we will type in Detail and you will see that it auto-completes and you can just hit enter and you'll see that the module is Hello World. That should be what your project name is because it's contained within that project. Now, we're going to put another button on the screen. We're going to name it Push Me. And for now, let's move it to the top left corner. Now we're going to control over to the Detail View Controller. You'll see these action segues. We'll get into a bunch of them later on in other videos, but today we're going to work with the Show action. Perfect. You'll see this link between this view controller, our main view controller, and this detail view controller. This link is represented here. If you go to your attribute inspector, you'll see the identifier. This is this could be anything, any type of string. So we're going to name it detail segue. You'll need this at a later date to determine that you're moving to the detail view controller so you can pass data between the view controllers. Let's add a label to our detail view controller. We'll add it here. Let's open up our split. We're going to take our label, control pull over, and we're going to name it detail label. And we'll hit connect. Now we have a reference to our label via the logic. Let's launch our application. Perfect, it's loaded up. Now if I click on the push me, you'll notice we push down a view. And you can see this back button that was auto generated up here. If I click on the back button, we go back to the previous view. If I click push me again, we go to the detail view. Great, right? Now what we want to do is we want to change that label text by passing along a string from the main view controller to the detail view controller. Let's do that now. Let's go into our detail view controller and make sure everything is set up. We have this detail label reference. We want to set up a, a variable to hold the string value from our main view controller. Let's do that now. Var detail label text and we'll make that a string and we'll default it to an empty string now when the view loads we want to set the detail label dot text equals detail label text what this will do is it'll take whatever is in detail label text and set it to the text of the detail label now let's go to our view controller our main view controller that's loaded up that's the hello world we're going to add this view controller method called prepare for segue and we're going to go, if the segue.identifier, which is the identifier we set up earlier, equals detail segue, then we know that we're going to that detail view controller because we set up the segue with that identifier. Well, we need to get a reference of that detail view controller. So let's do that now. We're going to let destination view controller equals segue.destination. And we're going to cast it as a detail view controller. Now that we have our reference to the, to the destination, which is the detail view controller, we need to set the string that we want. So we have to do des.vc 
text equals hello world too. So what this does, to reiterate, is it checks the identifier that we're going to, which in this case we know is detail segue. It grabs the reference of that destination within that segue object, which is the detail view controller. It goes, hey, let's take the detail label text variable and set it to hello world too. So now the detail label text in our detail view controller has that variable behind it. And when, we, the, when, the, and when the view loads up, we set it to that text. Let's see, there we go. And as you can see, we're having truncation again. So let's make the label the width of the screen real quick, like we did in the previous video. If you remember, we go down to our constraints. We do a zero on the left. We do a zero on the right constraint. And we also set our top constraint to, we'll do 117 for now. Like I said, this video is not meant to show you how constraints work and the efficiency behind constraints. It's more showing you the, the details between the fundamentals of UI view controllers and passing data between them. So now if we run our program, there it is. I hope you saw the importance between setting up multiple UI view controllers and passing data between them. It's pretty simple and pretty easy to set up. It's very useful when you're building multi-screen applications. If you like this video, please subscribe. There's gonna be tons of videos coming. I'm gonna build on top of this application a little bit longer. We're gonna talk about tons of topics around iOS development. So I hope you can stick with me and I'll see you in the next video.